Well, it's really an honor for me to be here today to help honor those uh, behind me on this mirror. You know, those of us who are old enough to remember, you know, you, we can probably tell you exactly uh, where they were or what they were doing, you know, the morning of January 28, 1986, when we lost the space shuttle Challenger and her crew of seven. Much like the assassination of President Kennedy, uh, the Apollo 11 landing on the moon, uh, September 11th, 2001, all of these are moments that define our history. Uh, I was a newly selected astronaut candidate s with seven months of training under my belt, taking a class in one of the single systems trainers learning about the orbiter's orbital maneuvering system and reaction control systems uh, when we lost Challenger. When our class was interrupted to tell us uh, what had happened, uh, there was sheer disbelief. Uh, we were unwilling to accept the news that had been given to us, that we had really lost an orbiter and its crew. Surely they'd aborted. Uh, they had it wrong. We didn't lose the crew. But watching the launch over and over again on TV, reality set in, and it was a really bad day. As an astronaut candidate, uh, five of us in my class shared an office next door to the 51L Challenger crew. And one of my absolute fondest memories is of El Anazuka one Saturday morning. Now, th in the astronaut office, there's nothing lower than an astronaut candidate. And, and an assigned crew member a few months from flight uh, surely doesn't have time to dedicate to any of us. Uh, but Al did. Uh, early on, he made me feel welcome. He uh, took time from his busy schedule to talk with me and help me get settled in the office and in the uh, community. He, this one Saturday morning coming up, uh, I met him at the top of the stairs and he said, hey, Bob, how you doing? And, and he says, you know, hey, if you ever need to work on your car, uh, you bring it over to my garage. I know you're not settled yet. I got all the tools that you need and I'll, I'll help you. I mean, that's a memory that I will treasure forever. Once we accepted the loss, the long process of under what, understanding what happened and uh, bringing us back to flight began. As we recovered the vehicle from the sea, the story started coming together. Seeing the pieces of the crew compartment laid out on the, on the cement here at the Kennedy Space Center out in the open, recording the switch positions of the consoles in the uh, crew compartment was a very sobering task. It's no way to bring a space shuttle home. And unfortunately, it wasn't the last time we would have to do it. We learned many lessons from the loss of Challenger. And the vehicle that returned to flight two and a half years later may have looked the same, but had hundreds of changes to make it safer and more reliable. The Challenger crew will be forever young in our minds. Their legacy is the Challenger Center's and an inspiration that motivates our children to learn and aspire to careers in math, science, and engineering. They've shown us that exploration is not without risk, but that we can learn from our mistakes and be better for them in the end. They continue to urge us forward to explore and to never quit just because it's hard. We are better for having known them. They are a part of us forever and we will not let them down. We will continue to strive to be better, to explore, to expand our knowledge of our universe, and to reach beyond. Thank you.